Oh, are you recording? <laughs> yeah, you just... Okay. <laughs> are you going to come into the pool? Or are you going to leave that up to me? Let's see what I can do. Right. They're, they're going to go crazy when you come in. They are. So, this is the rooster. chicken feed, some Cheerios, and then frozen peas. Um, the peas will really have to thaw out before we eat them, but since they're cool, they have to be cool. Yeah. And they're not going to come over here because you won't hear. Um, Peking. The brown one is a khaki Campbell. That black with that little iridescent green color is a Cayuga. And this is a blue Swedish. The gray one is a blue Swedish. I have no idea what kind of chickens they are, um, but they're all different breeds. And we have a heat. Can you see? I was thinking that he was like a different one. I was thinking that he was going to be like a silky or something because it's stuck on his feet. Right. But apparently, it's not. Um, another kind of chicken. A couple of kind of blues of chicken that, um, that are really nice. But a lot of the roosters are a lot more fancier looking than the, um, than the, the girls, than the hens. And the ducks are legit pumps, like, very cool. They are going to come in and try to kill them. I can catch them, but... Yeah. Right. Maybe you can get that stuff moved back in there. Yeah. Because we compacted all the... Stuff. So, you know, I usually like shovel it out, mm -hmm. but now it's so compact. So it's high work. It's all day. day. Hard work. It really is. <laughs> it really, it really is. To get all of that stuff out. Because this is the, um, the, um, pine shavings. Right. Compacted. And it looks like mud. So. Think out their water like every other day. Because they use that not only to like eat, 
to help soften their food, but they clean their eyes and their face with it as well. So if they don't have clean um, water, then it's chances that they can get like infections in their eyes and stuff too. And it helps them break down the food when they eat. Mm -hmm. Look at them. Look, the duck. A duck came over there. Together. Sit down. Sit down. Who's the biggest? Out of all of them. That one's Willie. The one that's still in the table. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he'll usually, like, when the chickens and stuff get near him when he's eating, he'll, like, use it, like, cut it down. He'll do it today. He'll do it today. He'll do it today. He'll do it today. He's got blue up under his back feathers too. Mm -hmm. You can see it on the side. And they have like this little some green feathers. When he gets bigger, he's gonna be real pretty. I still don't know if any of them are boys yet. You won't be able to find out until later. So <laughs> technically they said that um you see the back of their tails? Mm -hmm. If it's a, a drake, which is a male duck, it'll have a curve on it. And I guess within the next couple of weeks, we should know. Cause they usually say like 12 weeks and up, then you'll start telling. Some people can tell by their voices. Um, if they have like a, a quack or a raspy voice, I can never tell who's doing what. Can't really separate them to figure out which one is um, quacking or which one has the raspiness to their voice. So I'm just waiting on the um, the Drake feather to show. Mm -hmm.